Right, and this is uh, Dylan Mitchell, Ben Brannan and Josh Kane. Grading criteria they're going for on Unit 12, Current Issues in Sports, is M4, Explaining the Effects of Four Contemporary Issues on Selected Sports, and D1, Evaluate the Effects of Four Contemporary Issues on a Selected Sport. Right, off we go, fellas. Right, as first contemporary issue is drugs, and uh, as first example is Lance Armstrong. He took performance-enhancing drugs uh, in his sport, which was cycling. He'd uh, won several championships. An example of that is the Tour de France. But due to taking drugs, he was forced to quit his sport and had uh, his title stripped of him. Right, good stuff. Um, it was the way he was cheating was actually changing his bl like his blood uh, after each race. He'd have something set up with his team straight after, um, and he'd go in and all his blood would be taken out and he'd have new blood pumped around his body so no one ever knew um, and that's that's where he was getting like more energy and stuff for the races um, the second example is Dwayne Chambers um, he was a promising sprinter um, from England who was found using steroids and other performance enhancing drugs and that was to, to give him a better chance in races and uh, he was eventually found out and banned for banned for a lot of years the, uh, the first person to talk about is Ollie Fowler he was a promising footballer. He got to his peak through that of his career, and uh, then he, he got he started taking drugs, which was quite cocaine. And this then he had to uh, play for a different team and started moving around his career. He never got back to his uh, to his peaks or his game, which was all to do with uh, playing drugs. He also got a lot of fines, and uh, that's what he, uh, he never got back to his peak because of drugs. Right. His fourth example is Oscar Pistorius. Uh, when allegations were raised about him killing his girlfriend uh, by shooting her four times, they found needles in his house which uh, were linked with steroids and they think that that was linked with why he killed uh, his wife and uh, why he wasn't thinking straight, etc. Okay. Um, like all these issues like link together um, and it shows that in every every sport that, and where drugs happen, there's always a negative effect to them. Um, you either get banned, fined, uh, all your trophies, things. So it's it is an issue that needs to be looked at um, right. in all sports. Good. Yep. A second contemporary issue is racism. Um, as first example of that is Danny Rose for uh, the England under 21s when they were playing Serbia. Uh, it was. <laughs> He received racial <coughs> abuse throughout the Serbian crowd all game, and uh, at the end of the game, he made monkey gestures towards the crowd and kicked a ball into the fans. It then kicked off on the pitch, and quite a few players were pushing and shoving, and a few of them got banned. He's been made quite a big thing in the press as racism in sport is massive, and they want to try and kick it out. And there's also a lot of campaigns around with, um, as we will talk about, John Terry and Lewis Wise also. And if, uh, but Danny Rose also got uh, kicked out of the England number 21 set up for a while. Even you know that he will be, it was nothing to do with him, but he just had to make an example of it. Right. Um, the second one is uh, John Terry. He got taken to court for calling Anton Ferdinand a racial name. Um, the reason why this was such a big issue is because John Terry was the England captain. So they, as a, the job of an England captain, they have a role to be like a role model. Um, and obviously, this were it were like a huge issue, but it never got actually proven in the uh, for the FA when they took it to court. But um, the police carried it on and found that he was guilty. As third example is uh, Luis Suarez, who called his opponent Patrice Evra a racial name and received an eight-match ban and a huge fine. This was uh, then uh, expressed about when Suarez refused to shake Evra's hand when Liverpool played Manchester United and uh, there were a lot of uh, there were a lot of issues raised around that subject and that Suarez should never play for the club again. Good. So all the examples have all been through football and this is because it's like the biggest sport around and so the, if they can kick it out of of uh, football then it would be brilliant. Such as with Ken uh, from Sporting recently, he uh, got a lot of abuse from um, a team he tipped in Italy which were just uh, it wasn't a big game really, but friendly. he walked out of the out of the game. He stopped. He picked the ball up and he stopped playing. But 
like I say, it's a, it were only friendly, but if they can uh, can make something big of this, then they can get it racing that football. Good. He was, he was actually um, uh, criticised for walking off the field and his team for walking off the field by the FA. Um, by who? By the FA. Yeah, by um, what's it called? Um, the, the football. His initials are SB. Yeah, Seth Butter. Yeah, Seth Butter. Um, he was actually criticised by that, and a lot of people thought that were wrong because someone of his like stature should be saying, "Yeah, well done for walking off the pitch," because they want to cut racism out. And uh, if he's going to argue against him for doing that, then it's not, it's not, he's going to encourage it more um, racism than rather than stopping it. Like we said with John Terry, as it is a massive role model. Football is the biggest sport. Around, so if you can keep racing them out of football, then uh, obviously it'll, it'll last <coughs> for the whole, the whole like everything for the whole. <coughs> as uh, third contemporary issues are around gender, uh, uh, as first example of this is that women's footballers get paid a fraction of what male professionals do. Uh, an example would be. Uh, Samuel Eto'o was on more than £250,000 a week, whereas an average woman footballer gets £20,000 a year. Good. This, uh, this can prevent women from actually wanting to become a professional because they can earn more doing a normal 9-to-5 job and uh, supporting the family, etc. Um, in tennis, there is a mixed doubles event, giving both males and females a sense of equality. And uh, this could also help motivate people to become successful. Um, they also say that like they should do this in more sports, like um, with advertising on TV, like advertise more women's uh, football on TV, uh, put games on telly, so that um, introduces um, and increases like the participation of girls. Because um, if you see it on TV, you're going to want to do it. Um, whereas a lot of male sports are on TV, and that's why it's more more males. Good. Linking in with that as well, uh, in America. Basketball is now publicised for both male and female teams, meaning that there's going to be more of a financial side to the game, giving more motivation for both genders to become professional. As like it is with the women's football, there's no money in the the women's football side of things as there is th with the males. Whereas in basketball, that's equal in America, and uh, they're both publicised fairly. It's only been recently that in boxing, this is far as far the uh, that they've um, pub they've let a women fight in the ring and uh, this is this is good for for boxing as a whole because now it's more open you get more participation and it shows that it's opening up to every everyone such as Nicola Adams who won the gold and she will be known as the first ever winner not only from England but as a woman in, in competing in boxing in the Olympics uh, there's like um, initiatives set up to in, in um, to like increase women in sports, such as uh, Girls First, and they actually, um, from the aim to work with primary schools, um, and they actually give a thousand pound to primary schools who can uh, produce like football teams and cricket teams, mm -hmm. um, and get like more people involved. And this is this is a, like good for all sports, um, for the like for the participation from girls. That's it, and then that's it. Right, so, alright, thanks fellas.